So we're still on pulp and paper, and I'm going to talk about bisulfite pulping. Um, craft pulping, which I've already mentioned, is, is by far and away the most popular type of chemical pulping in the world today. Bisulfite pulping uh, is used for more specialised sort of papers like greaseproof paper, tracing paper, these sorts of things. Um, it is capable of taking more lignin out of the wood than sulfate pulping is. Um, and it's also used to make some chemicals from wood, the most common of which is vanilla. Chemical vanilla is made from bisulfite pulping. Um, I think there's a plant in Norway that produces it. Um, what else can I say about it? I don't think we need to say too much about it. It doesn't necessarily have a full chemical recovery cycle like they have in craft pulping. So in some cases you do get this black liquor uh, being produced as an effluent, particularly in plants which are located in countries which don't have such high environmental um, demands. And I think that's all I want to say about chemical pulping uh, in terms of bisulfite pulping. You'll notice that in both cases, sulphur is the element that is used in the pulping. Uh, and the reason for this is that uh, the lignin in wood is connected by chemical linkages to other uh, molecules in the cell wall, and this is ether linkages, and ether linkages can only be broken using the element sulphur. And this has always been an issue with uh, chemical pulping with wood. Uh, you have to use sulphur and that inevitably leads to smells. Everyone knew when they were living near a craft pulping plant because the stink was pretty horrendous and the nearer you got, the worse it got. Um, and the chemicals that are derived from sulphur pulping processes, uh, you get what are called um, tal oils in craft pulping mills. They have a really horrible smell associated with them. They go through a refining process and then the, the chemical compounds that come out don't have this smell anymore, but the, the original chemicals, the black liquor, absolutely stink. And this is a characteristic of sulphur pulping. Uh, and the reason that I'm going on about this is that you can pulp other things like the gas, straw, uh, the grasses, which don't have this ether link. They have an ester link between the lignin and the hemicelluloses in that case. Uh, it, and when you get an ester link, you don't have to have sulphur in the pulping system. You can get away with what's called soda pulping. And uh, soda pulping just uses sodium hydroxide. Uh, and you don't then get the smells associated with um, sulphur pulping. But if you're going to use wood, you pretty much have to use sulphur. There's been a lot of work looking at alternatives. There was a lot of activity Looking at again a self pulping at one time and people got very excited about it but it doesn't seem to have taken off. So we're pretty much still using bisulfite and craft pulping for chemical pulping. The idea is to break down the lignin if you look at the cell wall of wood. There's a region between the cells called the compound middle lamella and this is lignified region, which isn't lignified, yes that's right. Um, and the idea is to dissolve this lignin out so that the cells become more easily to separate, more easy to separate, which is done by this explosion process that I've already mentioned. But you also have lignin inside the cell wall and that's more difficult to get to if you want to get to that, you have to put the, the pulping process on for much longer and that inevitably leads to damage so that you end up with weaker paper. So there's a compromise to be had. So as I said previously, cardboard has a much higher lignin content in the cell wall because you want that stiffness property that the lignin gives, whereas office paper has uh, much lower lignin content, so it's pulped for longer. But nonetheless, there's still some residual lignin in the cell wall when you finish the pulping process. So that means you then have to go through what's called a bleaching process, and I'll be talking about bleaching um, later in another lecture. Thank you.